Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Silent Hill 4. Um, so, we had some uh, fuckerage happen. Yes, unfortunately fate decided to turn up the fuck factor to 11. And I had a phone call interrupt uh, me when I started recording this video, actually. And I muted my microphone instead of shutting the video off. So I then recorded the next like three episodes with my mic um, muted. So yeah, that's... And I saved over a lot of my games. So yeah, that, that was a thing that happened. So luckily uh, I loaded a game towards the end of the forest world so I didn't have too much to catch up on but the next bit uh, I already know what's going to happen this this isn't blind because I've already done it um, I didn't complete this world but I did uh, you did see me work out the puzzles um, which weren't really that hard let's be honest they're actually really easy uh, I'll be calling them puzzles a bit of a stretch Except for one. Except for one puzzle at the end. Can't remember. That was yesterday I did that. So I can't remember if I actually did that puzzle or not. No, I was doing that puzzle. And I looked over at my stream deck. And I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> the microphone button is not lit up. That's a cunt. Shit. How many videos have I recorded? Oh, three. That's 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 wonderful. So anyway, that brings us up to here. So I can't really remember. Like you might see stuff repeated because I didn't catch all of it up. I I don't know. So anyway, we're here. We're here. We, you should be more or less up to date. So let's continue. What have we got here? Yes, we know we can't open the door. Oh, I also did spend an ex an unhealthy amount of time. Um looking at uh, Eileen through the peephole and she doesn't really do anything. Uh, I also spent a long, long, long time during the phone call um, looking at the teddy bear to see if it did anything creepy. Uh, it didn't. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. There is a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. Uh, I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learnt for whoever you are living in this apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago, which ten people were killed in ten days. Uh, seven, yeah, ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways. But the one thing they had in common was that each corpse that had the following numbers in orders of the deaths. Yeah, so basically, I don't know if this was in the previous video or the video before that. That's the annoying thing. So I'm going to, I might reiterate stuff. Uh, so, yeah, worked out the fact that this is a number counting up. Uh, I guess he's trying to kill 21 people. You know. Uh, uh, Walter Sullivan is the murderer, which is referenced because I have some notes. So I was like, that name sounds familiar. Typed his name in. He was a murderer referenced in Silent Hill 2. April 14th. So let's look out through this window. And these hands that we can see through here. Oh, hello. I haven't seen this. I'm chased by a bug. Eileen's being chased by a bug. Okay, I haven't... I've seen that one before, but these hands here, I'm guessing are the victims because, of course, we had Cynthia murdered, which is that new hand all the way over on the right there at the bottom. And then we had the dude that was burnt in the forest world, and that is a new hand uh, on the left at the bottom there. So these are the victims, and that actually makes sense because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8 times 2, 16, so 17. Yeah, we're up to 17 killers or, or murders so far. So I'm guessing Walter is, is doing this. Um, and also, I've... 
there's stuff I want to say in this video that I've worked out playing the, the, the future videos, but I don't know. Oh, fuck's sake. This is so annoying. Like, unbelievably annoying. Okay, so I think Walter is the little kid going around. In fact, I know he is. But... What that has to do with the room that we're in, apart from the fact that the detective that was going after the murder cases lived there at some point, I don't know. So we should be just about back here. I did run round. Did all of the things. Um, the water... Oh yeah, the water wheel is the last puzzle that... I had to do, or the second to last puzzle that I had to do, but I noticed when coming down here, it's actually spinning now. So, that's good. However, that did take me a little while of coming down here, going back up, coming down, going back up. Uh, in the, the this video, or it would have been this video. Uh, but, of course, I already know what to do now, so I'm probably going to blaze past it. Now, so we still need to go into these rooms here. The room we need to go into to complete this this world is above the shower room. Because there's four rooms in that circle. We've only been in one, which is the shower room. But we need a code. Have we got the code yet? Yes, we do. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of fiddly little things we have to do first. So we've got to go through these holes again. And we need the flow of water to hit the water wheel ben beneath us, which is actually happening now. You can see it spinning, which means the generator's on, which means the lights are up on upstairs, which is good. Um, which is what these uh, blue dots are on the map. That's the flow of water. You need all of those connected. Well, no, you don't. You just need one connected in the right place. Okay. Now. So let's go up through the, the main hole. The main hole? Oh my. Yeah, we're going to go poking around in a hole. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, and because I've, uh, like, rendered and uploaded this video... Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, that's so irritating. Right. Oh, you can, like, double tap. Dude, I thought you, like, swiped once and then would give me a chance. Uh, at least these guys are fairly easy to kill. These guys are well irritating. I'm not really sure what the symbolism is on these things. Alright, you can kill them though, but I think these guys always come back. Right, so get fucked, bud. We need to go in here. We need to go up in the middle. Right. I let's go. So I don't know if I already showed all this off like in the previous video because I've like uploaded all of my videos and they're all like on YouTube <laughs> and I've deleted all my I can't go back and watch. Uh, there's a document here. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. Yeah, so this was housing housing children, which is weird. I can't open the doors, but from this room, I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day with no food and never showering themselves. They turn into smelly little grey lumps in there. But they're not feeding them. So surely they're going to die eventually. Uh, following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. Yeah. Um, 
that's what we've got to do now. P.S. That's so weird. Like, what was this place? Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I haven't been in there yet. Um, the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms of bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. Right, fair play, fair play. Now we can look through these to actually fill out the rest of the rooms. That's matey boy in there. Need to let him out. And that's where we find out that the kid is actually Walter Sullivan. Right. I don't think there's a huge amount of stuff. That's the noose room. Ooh, dribbly. I don't know what they are, they're like brains or something. Weird. Kind of cool enemies to be fair. That's one with a bloody bed. Now if they were like moving those, um, rotating the floor around to remove the bodies, that's only any good if um, the kid died somewhere in the center of the room. Okay, why would they dig these holes? This place is just strange. Right, so we've looked at all of those now. And let's go up. Go up. Right. There's a document here. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The light on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. Seems random. As a precaution against the blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Since each floor of the building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way of keeping the kids fearful and well behaved. P.S. Chief. If you turn the handles in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. Yeah, we've already done that. Okay. So let's fill out the rest of these rooms. There's only, yeah. So you need to fill this one out. And yes, yeah, so there's a hole in there. Okay. There's a hole in that room. So we need to check out the opposite two now as well, so. Miss that one, and then check that one, and that one, I think. Yeah, so that's all that filled out now. So we've just got one floor left. Okay. Right. Yeah, and um, I'll explain the water in a minute. The water flow. Ah, what have we got here? I want... Uh, it's some kind of memo. Well, that's good. Damn it. I bloody missed that. Where is it? Secret number memo? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that just tells us the, the back door. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen this month is... 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Yeah, because this, like, I don't think this is anything to do with the orphanage. Um, so, I don't know. Right, what we need to do here. Is line these holes up. Now, I think the coloured holes are the ones that we've jumped down into before. It doesn't really matter, because there's nothing we can miss as far as I know. Going down these holes. Ah, there is. One of these actually has a stun gun in, thinking about it. Fuck, which one was it? 
I haven't used a stun gun. Kind of seems like it would be a little bit useless, to be honest. Okay. So, we need to drop down in the left, uh, no, the right bottom hole. At least that's the one I went in the original video, so that's the one I'm going to do. But, if we line those two up, we won't have power. So, okay. Well, let's get to work. So, let's go... Right. And we can skip this animation, which is nice. So we can let him out now, which is good. He probably has no idea why he's free now. But this is quite an irritating puzzle I found. See, now we're spinning the water wheel. So basically, the water wheel, um, if you look at the four blue dots, you need the water to be hitting. Now, I assume you need to, the water to be hitting either the top left or the bottom right hole. If it hits any of the others, it misses the water wheel. But you can't have it hitting both sides at once, otherwise it counteracts each other. And it just stops the wheel from moving. But I don't know if you need it spinning left or right. I've only tried it one way, which was uh, the bottom right hole. So, yeah, not sure. Um, anyway, I think I've explained that aptly. Uh, okay. So we need to go back one, really. But then the water isn't going to be lined up properly. Okay. Let's just keep turning. Um... Yeah, so now we're not actually connected with any of the water tubes. So we need to turn it once more. I think. Yeah. Okay, that should... Right, that's good for this floor. Actually, that should do us. I'm curious. Wh which is the bloody bed? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Because I never looked at the bloody bed. I just used the map. But I'm guessing, considering we have to sync up the water, the holes... And the light. I'm guessing. And the lights aren't on either. I'm guessing you do need all the bloody beds to match. Right, there's that bloody bed there. Which is... So. That bloody bed is that hole. Right. So let's turn everything else. Let's go right down to the bottom and turn the and check where the bloody bed. Oh, twat! Check where the bloody bed is. Right. So this should be the first floor, which we can't move. So. Hopefully, that's the bloody bed. It is not. I'm guessing if we match all of the bloody beds, that's going to match the lights, the water, and the hole. At least that's what I'm hoping. 
So, where is the bloody bed here? Because I matched the water and I matched the holes, but I didn't quite manage to match the lights. It was just that video that I started when I realised everything had been muted. Right, so that's the bloody bed there. That's the one we have to line the others up to, which is there. Okay. So that's our baseline. So if we go up one. That's interesting. That's the room with the black powder in it. So where's the bloody bed here? No. Nope. That's the one with the guy, that, well, the kid that pissed himself. There's the bloody bed. So we need to rotate right. One, two, three, four times, I'm going to say. Let's put that theory to the test, shall we? One. Okay, man. Two. Three. And four. All right, let's see. If that's... <sighs> well, actually, that should connect the water up just fine. Nice. Okay. Uh, we want to go over this side. Is that the one with the bloody bed? And that is in the right place, yes? Excellent. Okay, cool. I never used the bloody beds when I was doing this before. I actually totally forgot about it, if I'm being honest. But that makes it quite a bloody bit easier. No pun intended. Well, maybe a little bit of the pun intended. And so, ah, yes, the water wheel was working because you can see this place is lit up. So where's the bloody bed in here? Come on. There it is. So this one is, so we need to go, so we went right last time, so we need to go left twice. I reckon. Man. Two. Ah, kind of. But now you've got the two opposite uh, water chains running, which we don't want. Because if that happens, yeah, all the bloody beds are now aligned. But the generator, hang on, the generator won't be running. But everything's lit up. Okay, maybe it's the opposites that I'm thinking of. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, let's just, fuck it, just ignore me for now. And let's have a look. Yes. Let's check all of these. That's lit up as well. Good, good, good. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Wouldn't be the first time, let's be honest. And is that the right one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Cool. I'm quite actually happy to be talking out of my ass here, to be honest. Who 
is that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. Yeah, so the little boy, Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So the orphanage was the center of the cult in Silent Hill. Yeah, these bloody stalk assholes grow everywhere now. I am making lots of notes, by the way. <clears throat> As I like to do when playing these games. So, the center. And the reason I also make a load of notes for recording is, like, I'm recording this now, but I might not get to record this again for a couple of weeks, so it's, it's good. Uh, center of the cult. Right, Center of the Cult in Silent Hill is the orphanage. Uh, I didn't catch that dude's name. But Walter was the kid. Um, right, so now... Ah, oh, we can't go through there yet. I forgot, we've actually got to drop into that one. Can we drop into that one, though? Although, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Fuck. Okay, so if we want the stun gun, I have to make some adjustments because it doesn't automatically line up. So if I want the stun gun, which I do. I mean, we might as well collect it. It might be good. I don't know. So if I want the stun gun, I've got to rotate that once upstairs to the left. Okay, well, let's just do that because fuck off. There's no point in not having it, let's be honest. Um, at least I think that's where the stun gun was. I, I hope so. Otherwise, I've just wasted a load of time. Because it's in, I know it's in one of the rooms that you can't get to. Now we need to rotate this to the was it left. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that one. Yeah, the power's going to be out now, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, we should be able to get the stun gun now. I found that by accident. I almost didn't pick it up because it's kind of hard to notice, to be honest. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing that really annoys me about this uh, this level. It's all this up and down, up and down, up and down. It's annoying. Um, right. So let's go out of here. And we want to go all the way up. Do we want to go up? I think we want to go up. I was disappointed by that sound. You hear that big, like, lion roar kind of thing. You're like, oh, cool. You're going to fight some big badass motherfucker. But no. No. We do need to go back and regen some health as well. And now, we've got to go all the fucking way up here. I think, what what do they call it? It's uh, all the back and forth thing. Um, what do they call that again? Backtracking. Oh, we don't want to go up here. There's a lot of backtracking. But the design of this prison is really interesting. It's kind of like a lighthouse in a way. Right, we want to go around. 
There's all these leeches here, and the leeches suck. Yeah, so I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bugger. That's not where the stun gun is. So which room is the stun gun in? Oh, I can hear someone yawning. It's not in there either. Damn it. I have wasted every time. Although, it hasn't been a total waste because now we can unlock this door. Where was the stun gun? I'm sure it was in one of the rooms. Let's just get rid of all these a minute. Like you and you. See, this is where we need to go to get the code. But we apparently can't see the keypad because it's too dark. Oh, we can remove the plate as well. Yeah. And it's too dark and we can't see the buttons. I mean, we can see the buttons. He's just being useless. So this is the kitchen. I thought there might be something in the kitchen, but there isn't. We're actually on 31 minutes here. Yeah, fuck it. We're actually on 31 minutes here, so... I'm going to uh, end the video here, guys. I'm going to find out where the stun gun is. And then we're going to go grab that. And then we're going to actually, like, complete this um, level. Oh, God. I've been on for ages. So, thank you very much. I know it's a bit of an up and down episode. Yeah. Yes. I like that. I should call that this episode the up and down. So, thanks for watching, guys. And when we come back, progress. Promise. Trust me, I want to see progress as well.